What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Jaws the Four, and today we are going to be talking about the worst Call of Duty game in the whole Call of Duty franchise. Now, for sure, you already got an idea of which game I'm about to mention to you guys because of the background gameplay. So, uh, my pick as the worst Call of Duty game of all time has to be Call of Duty Ghosts. And I know there's going to be people defending this thing because, um, well, people stem to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare thinking it's going to be a modern shooter, right? Like Modern Warfare 3 or what we got here in the front of our screen but instead we got some extra suits so people return back to call of duty ghost and now people are saying that call of duty ghost is better fuck no people who think like that they ought to be slapped with a brick because the game still fucking sucks do not be mentioning that in my comment section do not even defend this game because it's still fucking garbage and i can't believe even white boy seven street said that that the game is better now because you know he came from call of duty advanced warfare and the game is better now man that guy I swear, man, I swear he needs to get arrested again for, like, smoking pot. I swear he was smoking pot that day when he said that shit. So, um, yeah, White Bull Cemetery, you better get the hell off Call of Duty. So, anyways, I do got some main reasons why Call of Duty Ghost is the worst game of the whole franchise. And um, one of my main reasons has to be the kill streaks. I mean, I swear to God, why do we need to put down three boxes in order for us to get a spy plane? The only time you get to like actually get the spy plane right away has to be on free for all. But who plays free for all most of the time? No one. So um, when you're playing like objective games or search and destroy or any other kind of game that involves teams, um, you have to put like at least half of your teammates, you know, spy planes down. Or unless you can pull it off by yourself. So um, in order for you to get a spy plane, you gotta put at least around two to three boxes down in order for you to get a spy plane. What kind of bullshit is that? What the hell is this, the 1960s? If this was actually taking place in the 1960s, then I would understand. But I'm pretty sure this was even more down the timeline where the spy planes were already invented. So what the hell was this bullshit about having to put down boxes in order for us to get a UAV? Like so many fucking boxes, even with the counter UAV too. So, um, that was an annoying thing. And another annoying thing has to be the fucking dog. Now, the dog was OP as hell. You would shoot that dog, like, forever, and it still wouldn't die. I was like, what the hell, you know? I thought I can knife him off or something, but no, it can actually kill you that instantly. So, the dog was annoying. Another annoying thing from the game was the knifing, the panic knifing. It was, um, when you knife somebody, it will be like a whole action, right? Like, once you knife somebody, you're clenched. You're pretty much, you're grabbing him and you're knifing. You, there's no way you can run away from that. Imagine if Commando was along with this knifing action that Caldi Ghost had. Man, you'll be attacking like you had a samurai sword or some bullshit. So, that was another annoying thing. Another one that I really want to mention was the IEDs. What the hell? There's no way you can avoid those piece of craps. I swear. You can just drop those things anywhere you want and you can't even jump away from it. Those things will explode real quick. The only way you can avoid them is by having the uh, danger close, I, I believe, or some other one. Um, uh, some other perk. So those were the only ways you can avoid them just by getting that perk and just running through them. So kind of annoying though. I mean, like, seriously, IEDs, I would prefer the bouncing base to return back to the next COD. So, the IEDs were annoying. The maps, the original maps for Call of Duty Ghosts, they were freaking bad. They had no rhythm. The Stonehaven map was the biggest of them all. But the thing is, you can easily get spawn trap on, on the freaking castle. That was annoying. So, you're pretty much going to have to camp either inside the castle or outside the castle walls. And there was a total camping game. And that's another thing, the whole game was a camping game because you couldn't call in the spy planes fast enough. Because your box can get destroyed before you can even call in another box of spy planes. So, it was just pure annoyance. The maps were terrible, the killstreaks were bad. The weapons, they were okay, but I felt like these weapons needed to be like in Modern Warfare 3 or Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops 1 because these weapons were good. They were okay. The Honey Badger, the K7, the Vector CRB, the Vepper, I mean, all these weapons were okay. They were good. But the problem was the game sucked. So I felt bad for the weapons because I, I, they had potential. They really did. But the game fucking sucked. So that's all I wanted to talk about guys, you know, those, that's what annoyed me from the game and that's exactly what made me quit, you know, because the game was bad. The game fucking sucked. If you had your own opinions on how the game is still good nowadays, then please leave it in the comment section. I would love to hear your bullshitness. So that is it. Subscribe for more. You guys want to hear more Call of Duty topics and also see more Call of Duty gameplay.